this movie will step through the commands under reserves timing in the surface mine module for doing the haul truck cycle time analysis and production. First command we'll go through is the haul road manager. Initially what you'll need is just a piece of topography representing your your existing or design and 3D polylines draped onto the surface representing your different haul road profiles. These are 3D polylines that were draped on. I can show it in 3D with the AutoCAD orbit right on top of the contour or the TIN or grid file. You add those to the Hall Road Manager with the plus button to add segments. Let's cancel out and freeze the contours. And that leaves just the Hall Road segments. Back to Hall Road Manager and hit the plus button and select them all in one, one window, crossing window. Brings them in as a plan view there and color coded down below. Or even when you highlight, shows up above in bold. If you want to get a report, there is the report button. Add everything over, display it, and this tells you all the information about that one haul road, that one segment, and all of the different segments in between. Exit there. Let's build a new one. I'll exit and hit OK. We're going to add a new road that branches off and goes up to through this pre-strip and overburden up to here. For example, I'll just draw a regular polyline and I'll do an object snap nearest. And we'll branch off at this point and bring this new road up and around to there. It's just a 2D polyline at this point. So let's drape it onto the surface. I'll go into the civil module, Carlson Civil. Under 3D data, we have 2D to 3D polyline by surface model. I'll grab the haul truck topo tin and select the polyline to put onto that surface. And now it's a 3D polyline. I'll move it to the proper layer called haul road center lines. And then a quick check with the AutoCAD orbit shows that polyline is now indeed in 3D up in the overburden pre-strip. Now back to surface mining. Do the hauled road manager. Select all these segments. Let's not select the red one. I'll show you how to add one later. With the plus button right here, the add. Go ahead and add that one to the database. And there you can see it is up on the top now. And it should be the bottom one down here. Let's get a quick report on that should just be two segments. Actually, I drew it with two, but when it draped it out of the tin, it changed the segment any time it crossed over a triangle face, so there is quite a few segments now. Exit there. And let's do one more thing. Let's add this delay point. For example, there's one already. It's an intersection delay point for 0.5 minutes, 30 seconds. We'll add another one. We'll call it four-way stop. You can choose a symbol, any symbol in the whole Carlson library. I'll hit place and we'll drop it in right here. So it added a one minute delay at that point. Hit OK. And zoom in and there should be a symbol right there. And you can move that symbol anywhere you want it to go. That's a delay. Next command in the menu is Hall Fleet Manager. The program comes with a pretty good database of commonly used mining trucks. The various trucks are shown up above. We have various CAT models, Komatsus. Let's take a look at the CAT 797. These are default parameters. You have a loading spot time, loading time in seconds, dump spot time, dump time in seconds, and load capacity 400 tons. And then your various resistance data table is shown below. I'm not going to go into detail here in this video, but you can click on the help or go into the Carlson online digital help to read more about how this is, is utilized. You can use the data as is, or if you have your own, it can be entered in just with the add 
plus buttons to add your own trucks to this list. We'll hit OK there. Now we're ready for the haul cycle analysis. This will combine the roads and the fleets to give you the analysis tools for reporting. Pick the point for your start where you're loading from and pick the point where you're ending. Let's say we're going to start hauling overburden from there around and dump down in here. You have a choice initially if your truck is going to start loaded or empty based on wherever you picked at first and last. So we're going to start actually loaded. That's where we're loading the truck. Let's drop down the CAT 797. And there's two main options on what you're calculating. You can calculate either the production rate or the fleet size. So right now you put in a production rate of 9508 and it'll then calculate how many trucks you need based on the various roads you select. Or if I choose production and tell it how many trucks you have, it'll tell you how many tons per hour you can produce. So let's take a look at the various haul road options. If you pick on each one line down below, the route is highlighted or bold up above. They are sorted and they're easy to sort again by usually by length or by time. So if I wanted to look at haul road number one, for example, it's the shortest length and it looks like it might be the fastest time as well. And we need to produce 10,000 tons per hour. Tells me I need 13 trucks. If you're after 15,000 tons per hour, now I need 20 trucks. Based on this fleet, you can use any truck off the list. These are all defined with the Hall Fleet Manager. Let's start over and we'll do some overburden, or actually some coal from the bottom of the pit. Hit OK there and we'll just hit enter to repeat the command. We'll start hauling coal from the pit bottom and we'll go all the way down to this truck dump over here. Now you can see the various routes showing up in the pit. And I don't like hall number one because it circles back around. Hall number two looks pretty good. Let's sort by distance. Hall number two is the shortest one. It's straight up and down the main hall road. And it's the quickest in time as well. So now let's say we're looking at 12,000 tons. Let's drop down to the proper truck, the triple sevens this time. We're starting loaded and we're dumping there. I need 12,000 tons an hour. How many trucks do I need? 83 trucks. Let's jump up to 797s. Much better. Now we're down to 21 trucks. Let's say we just need a flat 10,000 tons per hour. 18 trucks based on that distance. The overburden haul was much shorter. I didn't need as many trucks. Lastly, there's several report options. I'm going to choose road number two and I'm going to do a cycle report. We'll add everything over to the right and just hit display. This brings up a nice report showing you I chose road number two, option two. One way is 2.72 miles. It tells you your loading and dumping times, your loaded haul and empty haul times. And it breaks down the individual segments of the road down below so you can see where you might have some difficulty based on the speed or the overall resistance. There's the, the answer I was after, 18 trucks needed for a 10,000 tons per hour rate based on that haul road profile. Other reports we have in the lower left are the CAT FPC reports. We can output just a generic ASCII report, a GPS report, or the entire course. Let's take a look at the ASCII report first. We'll just call it the CAT ASCII. I'll actually report all three of them out. Next one is GPS. This shows you the coordinates X, Y, and Z ready to load up into the truck if you have GPS guidance. And then the last cat is a course report showing you general, 
the hall and the return information. Hit OK there and I'll just take one last look at that report. We'll go to Inquiry, Display, Edit, File. Browse and go grab the file. And it's the cat ASCII. Open that. And it's just the general CAT ASCII format if you need to load that into your vehicle. Well, this concludes, concludes the haul truck cycle time analysis and production analysis. I'll turn on and thaw out all the contours. So again, for review, all you need to start with is a topo map of the pit and 3D polylines representing your haul road. Thank you.